quick toys. So we are going to read the Inside Out You Decide the Ending book with 20 possible endings of Forget This. Here is at least version number one. We'll see how far we get. So we love reading books, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. And um, we, this is not really a picture book, although there are pictures in it. They are mostly black and white. But the nice thing is if you get the book yourself, but, you can follow Joy along. Juggling Memories. Yes, it is Joy Juggling Memories, which I don't know if she would actually do that. But maybe. Welcome to Headquarters. Meet the five emotions who live inside Riley's mind. Do you remember their names? Joy, Gut, Sadness, Anger, and Fear. Very good. And there's actually one more surprise. There actually is one more emotion that people have, and they didn't mention it in the movie, and it is surprise. That's true. They help Riley make decisions. What should she wear today? What should she eat? Where should she sit during lunch? Riley's emotions are with her every step of the way. It's been two months since joy and sadness got sucked into the mind world and Riley almost ran away from home. Joy and sadness have vowed never to leave headquarters again because Riley needs all of her emotions to get her through the day, through each day. But now anger is on a mission and it's up to you to help him. He's going into the mind world to stop an obnoxious jingle from playing over and... Jingle. Jingle. I'll explain in just a sec. Jingle from playing over and over in Riley's brain. Depending on the path you choose, anger will travel into the unknown with either fear or disgust. Will you help anger succeed? Or will you get stuck in the mind world? A jingle is like a commercial song. And they make them very hard to get out of your head. It's also called sometimes an earworm. Because it kind of tickles your brain. It's like when a song plays over and over and over in your head. But when it's like a jingle, it's an advertisement. Okay. Inside headquarters, Sadness gazes longingly through the big window that looks into the mind world. She lets out a sigh. Not again, Sadness, says Joy. I can't help it, Sadness says. It's sad. We'll never get to go back to the mind world again. I'll never ride on the train of thought or visit imagination land. All I have are my memories. That was an exciting adventure for sure, but you know we can't leave headquarters, Joy reminds her. Remember what happened reminds her, sorry, remember what happened to Riley the last time we were out there? She almost ran away from home. We can't risk that happening again. Fear shudders. I don't even know why you'd want to go back there, sadness. That place is swarming with danger. Collapsing islands, a runaway train, a creepy clown. I'm glad I never got whisked out of there. I'm glad I never got whisked out there with you, says disgust. Well, I, for one, wouldn't mind giving some of those mind workers a piece of my mind, says Anger, especially those good-for-nothing forgetters. Fear rolls his eyes. Here he goes again. How can you not be upset, Anger says, fuming. Those guys get to decide what Riley forgets and what she remembers. And then, just for fun, they send annoying memories up here to bugger, like that totally worthless minty blast gum jingle. Aw, oh, come on, Anger. The Forgetters are basically harmless, Joy tells him. And anyway, that jingle is pretty darn catchy. Traitor! Anger cries. How can you take their side? Before Joy can answer, disgust points to a screen that shows the emotions, the world from Riley's point of view. Looks like it's bedtime, she says as Riley's face appears in the bathroom mirror. Seriously, though, Riley needs to brush her hair tonight. I refuse to let her wake up with those awful knots again in the morning. Riley puts toothpaste on her toothbrush, then holds it up to her mouth. What does she have? I don't know. And starts to sing. Minty blast gum makes your mouth feel clean. Sorry. Minty blast gum makes your mouth feel clean. That's it! Anger shouts, there it is again. I'm going out to the mind world to set those forgetters straight. Anger stomps over to the vacuum tube that carries memories in and out of headquarters. That's how joy and sadness got to the mind world. 
Whoa there, bucko, Joy says as she jumps in front of him. Let's all just take a breather here. Anger growls. All right, I'm not a fan of breathing. I get it, Joy quickly replies. But you can't leave. Riley needs you. What if Matt Fletcher tries to steal, steal the basketball from her in gym class again? Riley is about to go to sleep, Anger says through gritted, gritted teeth. I'll go now and cut it back. Joy considers this. Well, if you go, you'll probably never come back and we'll never see you again, sadness whispers, whimpers. Don't go, fear pleads. You'll get trapped in the subconscious with an evil clown. <laughs> Minty blast gum is so extreme, Riley sings. I'll take the chance, Anger says. If I hear that jingle one more time, I'll, I'm gonna. What? Asked Disgust. You'll finish your sentence? Okay, you can go, Joy interjects before Anger explodes. Riley will be a lot happier if she gets that jingle out of her brain. Me. When something blows up, you could blow up with Anger, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Like how? Well, not really. But you can kind of explode with anger, right? When you have a lot of it built up. Mm. When the chute spits you out, just head toward the rows of shelves, explains Joy. That's long-term memory. And stay away from the cliffs, Fear adds. Yeah, yeah, shelves, good. Cliffs, bad. I get it, Anger says. Riley finishes brushing her teeth. She goes to her room, yawns, and climbs into bed. In just a few minutes, She's asleep, and she starts dreaming right away. All right, I'm out of here, Anger announces. Wait, Disgust says. I'm sorry, I get a little lazy with my consonants, but only when I read. I'll try not to. I think she's having that dream again. Riley's dream plays on the big screen. In it, Riley sees herself sleeping in bed, but then she wakes up, and her hair has, has turned into streams of creepy, crawly spiders. Ah, screams fear. Gross, disgust shrieks. Why does she keep having this dream? Are the forgetters doing this too? No, the dreams are made in dream productions, Joy explains. I'm not sure who creates them. A dream director, maybe? Well, no, Jingle does. No. Well, this director must be pretty demented to keep turning Riley's hair into spiders every night, Disgust says. Then she turns to Anger. I'm going with you. We've got to stop the stream. What? No way, Anger insists. Insists. See, I get a little lazy, sorry. This is a one-man operation. If you both go, you'll both be lost forever, Sadness says with a sigh. <sighs> We'll miss you. Nobody is getting lost forever, Anger shouts. I am going by myself to persuade the forgetters to see things my way. He smacks his fist, fist into his hand to make his point. Then I'm coming right back here. And I am going with you to tell the dream director to cool it with the spiders, disgust says firmly. Up on the screen, in her dream, Riley is shampooing her hair trying to get the spiders out, but the bathtub just keeps filling with spiders. Riley doesn't sleep well when she has dreams like this, and that affects her whole day, Joy reasons. I Anger, don't, I don't want to have a dream like that. Where no, 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 don't like don't, no worries. Joy reasons, Anger, maybe you should let Disgust go with you. If Anger and Disgust go to the mind world together, Go to page 67. If Anger goes to the mind world by himself, go to page 96. Which one do you want to do? What page I want? Do you want Disgust to go or just Anger? Okay, go. Okay, let's go to 67. And we'll try a couple of different variations, guys, just so we can see it. We'll read the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you get to read it again and again. Anger. There's the picture. Anger lets out an exasperated sigh. Fine, he says, but if you mess things up for me, 
I'm stuffing your green self right back into that memory shoot. I'm not the one who messes things up around here, says disgust. She turns to Joy. Okay, how do we do this again? Last time Sadness and I accident got sucked into the memory shoot accidentally, Joy explains. But you guys should be able to jump right in. Anger stuffs himself into the chute. I'm coming for you, forgetters, he yells. Disgust jumps in after him. Whoosh! The chute sucks them through the long tubes that leads all the way across the mind world to long-term memory. Inside headquarters, Sadness shakes her head. It won't be the same around here without them. Sadness and I came back. They will too, Joy promises. She looks up at the screen. I just hope they're back before Riley wakes up. She needs all her emotions when she's awake. A few moments later, anger and disgust tumble out into the mind world. They stand up and look around. They're on a wide plateau. What's a plateau? Right, like a flat place. And in the distance, they can see the long stacks of shelves that hold Riley's memories. There are some other buildings beyond them. Anger marches toward the shelves. I'm going to find those forgetters. Disgust follows him. Oh no, she says. We are going to dream productions first. Let's do rock, paper, scissors, Anger suggests. Disgust nods. All right, one, two, Three, anger throws out a clenched fist and disgust holds out a flat hand. Ha, she says, I win. Paper doesn't beat rock, anger says. Rock smashes paper, smashes it. Now disgust frowns. We're never going to get back before Riley wakes up. Let's try something else. How about a race? A race? That's ridiculous. Disgust puts her hands on her hips. What's the matter? Afraid you can't beat me? Of course not, says Anger. Then let's race to the edge of that cliff over there, Disgust says, pointing to it. If I win, we go to Dream Productions. If you win, we go to Long Term Memory. Fine, says Anger. If Disgust wins the race, go to page 44. If Anger wins, go to page 116. Will win. Okay, Disgust will win. So we go to 44. I win, Disgust cheers. Of course you do, <sighs> says Anger, catching his breath. He stomps toward Dream Productions. It's going to take forever to get there, you know. The train of thought doesn't run when Riley is asleep. Disgust catches up with him. It will be worth it, she says. And once we get there, it shouldn't take long. I'll use my charm, and you can use your, you know, that intimidating thing you do to convince the director to stop the spider dream. Anger punches his fist into his hand again. Yeah, I'm itching to do some convincing. They walk a long way to get to Dream Productions. The set is bustling with actors in costumes, scurrying back and forth, and a stage manager screaming directions at everyone. On stage, actors are wearing silly looking spider costumes with eight legs. But in Riley's dream, they look just like real spiders. Anger stops one of the spiders. Where's the director? He asks. But before he can get an answer, disgust lets out a squeal behind him. Rainbow unicorn, she cries. She rushes over to a beautiful unicorn with rainbow streaked mane and a glittering horn. I'm totally your biggest fan, disgust says. How do you get your hair so shiny? You wouldn't believe how long it takes to condition, Rainbow Unicorn says. Not that it matters anyway. I'm not getting screen time these days, she nods to the spiders. I know, right? Those spiders are awful, says Disgust. We're here to convince the director to stop those spider dreams once and for all. Rainbow Unicorn looks interested. Really? Because I was thinking the same thing. I could produce a super fabulous dream starring myself, and then the director will have to use it in place of those ridiculous spiders. Disgust thinks quickly. I know, you help us convince the director, and we'll help you produce your amazing dream. 
Rainbow Unicorn nods. She's right over there. Disgust and Rainbow Unicorn head over to talk to the dream director. Hey, where are you going? Anger asks. Just come with us and stay quiet, says Disgust. I've got a plan. Oh, how nice. You and this candy-colored horse have a plan. Well, thanks for telling me, Anger fumes. Disgust ignores him and marches up to the director. Excuse me, director, but we have a proposal for you, she says. The director puts her clipboard down on her lap and yawns. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it's a great one, Disgust replies. My friend and I here are going to produce a fantastic dream starring Rainbow Unicorn. We are? Anger asks. We are, says Disgust firmly. And then you can stop running that spider dream. Deal? I'd love to, the director says. We're all getting tired of the spider dreams. The actors aren't wiggling like they used to. But Riley's dream is coming from a memory. She was learning about spiders in school, and it brought up a spider memory from a, a bad spider memory from a few years ago. I can't get rid of the dream, rid of the dream while that memory is still around. But couldn't a fabulous dream starring Rainbow Unicorn push out some crummy old memory? Asks Rainbow Unicorn. The director thinks that might work, but the dream would have to be really fabulous. She yells into the megaphone. Okay, spiders, put some heart into that wiggling. Back in headquarters. The spiders break into a spooky dance on the screen. Make it stop, yells Beer. If disgust and anger help Rainbow Unicorn produce a new dream, go to page 62. If disgust and anger search for the spider memory, go to page 88. They're going to search for the spider memory. Oh, they're not going to help her make a dream? They're going to help her make a dream. Do you, which one do you want, the dream or the memory? Dream and memory. Which one? You got to pick one. Dream. The dream? Okay, 62. I was surprised you picked that. Well, I'm not going anywhere near that spider memory, says Disgust. Come on, I know we can make a fabulous dream. You should be our director, says Rainbow Unicorn, batting her long eyelashes. It takes a strong personality to handle a superstar like me. Fine, let's get this over with, says Anger. Disgust. Now she talks. Hmm? Now she talks. Yes. Disgust disappears into the costume room and returns a few minutes later. She's wearing star-shaped sunglasses, a sequin dress, a feathered headdress, and white boots. A pair of green and gold wings are strapped to her back. What are you supposed to be? Anger asks. Stylish? <laughs> Disgust replies. A cameraman comes over and Anger looks through the lens and sees what Riley will see in her dream. A feathered horse with huge wings and stars for eyes. Yeah, a stylish horse, Anger says. A horse? I look like a horse, Disgust asks. A pegasus, says Rainbow Unicorn. Disgust considers this. How about my character is Star Pegasus, she says. And in the dream, Rainbow Unicorn is missing and Star Pegasus has to search the world for her. Rainbow Unicorn clears her throat. <clears throat> Excuse me, but how can I be the star when I'm missing? We'll find, well, I'll find you eventually, said, says Disgust. Then she looks down at her costume. And anyway, we promise fabulous. And let's face it, Star Pegasus is super fabulous. Riley already thinks I'm fabulous, says Rainbow Unicorn, moving between Disgust and the camera. Disgust shoves her aside. But Riley hasn't seen me yet. Anger looks through the camera lens. The two magical creatures start leaping over each other. As they jump, sequins fly off Disgust's dress. They look like shooting stars. The director comes over. What's this? She asks, looking through the lens. Wow! Amazing! Spiders, take five! In headquarters, Joy, fear, and sadness watch the new dream playing on screen. Look! No more spiders, says Joy. But it's almost morning, says sadness. Soon Riley will wake up, and fear and disgust won't be here. Poor Riley. Angry disgust. Yeah, they made a mistake. Wow, good spotting, Ladybug. High five.
Back in Dream Productions, and fear is even in the picture. Back in Dream Productions, Disgust realizes they need to get back to Riley. Sorry, we've got to get back to headquarters. But what about the forgetters, Anger asks. No time, says Disgust. Let's go. Anger and Disgust race to long-term memory as quickly as they can. They find a recall tube and get sucked back up to headquarters. You're all right, says Fear, running to hug them. Yes, yes, we're fine, except we didn't get rid of that annoying jingle, Anger says. But you got rid of the dream, and Riley will be happy, says Joy. She'll be even happier when I go back there tomorrow night. Alone, Anger says. I won't rest until that jingle is gone forever. The end. The end. Now, there's lots and lots of pages that we have not read, so we will reread this in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe to Quake Toys for more stories and more fun.